G'day, how are you going? This is Ian Harris from Australia here, and today I'm going to do another acrylic painting. This is the size canvas I'm going to use. It's not a very big one today, and it's going to be a moon. So I've got some white, acrylic white, down on my palette there. I've got some retarder. It's sort of like an oily thing, but it, it helps the acrylic paint stay wet longer. It retards the drying time. So see, you... I just put the appropriate amount I think I need in there and um, we're going to paint this board, this palette, not the palette, the um, canvas. So I'll get all this on here. Okay, now I'm going to wash this brush. I'll show you how I wash my brush. Come over here. I've got, um, I've got a bin and if you look inside the bin I've got a broomstick. See the broomstick down there? That's what I flap the brush on. So I'm gonna just come into my kitchen here and wet. Where are we? And then this all. <sighs> That's nice and dry. Now I'll get some blue, we'll get phalo blue. I love phalo blue. Phalo blue's got a beautiful tones to it. So I'm gonna put some phalo blue on here. And I'm not going to paint the whole sky blue, but this is going to have retarder in it as well. So we'll get a bit of blue on the brush. And we're just going to jimmy it around the sky somewhere. Just like that, that'll do. And then, because this is going to have water, roughly the same. Now you can see the way this is wet and runny and flowing that's because of the retarder now I've got a dryer brush here and I'm going to blend this so we'll just blend the sky because I want the sky as I always do my skies marbly okay see if I didn't have retarder in this where I'm blending right now down here these will start to be going chalky and dry Put some retarder in this purple, so she's going to be blendable as well. All right, I just want to got the purple because I just want to like darken up the corners a bit, just a bit. Probably down there. Probably down there. I'll get my other brush and I'm going to blend this now into the blue. See how that purple's blending. Now see how that purple looks real purpley purple, right? If you don't like that, what do I do? Hang on, I'll get it blended first. And I'll just show you my little eeny barberini trick. Now I'll just grab a bit of white. And I'll just put a bit of white in it. Wipe my brush. And that white is going to soften that purple. It's still there, but it's softened it. So it's not purpley purple. That purple has got two tones in it. All right, now I'm just gonna blow dry this because I wanna put some clouds and the moon on there. But I've just cut out my moon hole in a piece of A4 paper. I'll put this on where I want the moon the actual painting there. I've got my trusty kitchen sponge and um, I'll get some white and as you know I like my moons evaporating into the sky so I'm just gonna if anything bring him around this way. Grey was already mixed. Now I'm going to try and bleed this. So this will try and give this moon a bit of dimension. Dark, see there? Can you come in closer there? Can you see those dark spots that I'm making happening? With the... They're just sort of... Just the sponge is taking care of all that. Okay. 
back a bit. Okay, so we'll take that off. There's my moon. Now what we're going to do is a choppy row of clouds. So what we'll do, we'll grab, I like using my fan brush for my clouds. So I'll just chisel that onto the, onto the, the um, fan brush. And we're going to do a choppy row of clouds across here. So the clouds are sort of probably float around there somewhere. Okay, now I'll grab my other brush. And I'm going to leave the top of the cloud. I just want to blend the bottom down into the sky. See there how it's blending down? Every now and then I might wash it up. And see that? It's sort of... Can you get that? It's sort of whispering it. So this is one layer of clouds. Blend it down into nothing. Wash that up further. See there? Look at that. Bring that into nothing. Now that's brought some of the darker greys down and whatnot, so it's not completely white. Now I'll grab some more white again, and I'm going to put another row in just in front of that that's really white. So like so. And I might put a bit up here somewhere just to be arty. Okay. And we'll grab the same brush. And we're going to blend that one down, leaving that sharp white edge on the top of it. Just softly, I'm really softly doing this. You don't want to just concentrate in one spot and turn it into mud. So there's the... And now we'll do this one. Hopefully it hasn't dried on me. So I've tried the, the board. So we've got our choppy row of clouds. What I might do is put a bit of blue in those clouds just to and then some more white because so I want those clouds to blend down into the atmosphere so they have like an atmosphere about them. And this, what I'm putting on now, is going to blend down into the atmosphere. Alright, now what I'm going to do, before I... I want to get this moon reflection into the water, so I'll get some more white paint chiseled onto my fan brush, just like so. Okay, there's my moon, so we'll, I'm going to have to, about there, so I want this to sort of, somewhere there like so. I'm just feeling my way through this so as I'm not getting like I've got there, the brush sort of stopped and come back. So I'm sort of feeling my way through this so I don't get that happening again. Now that's toned that white down after I've done that. So what's gonna, what I'm gonna do now is grab the white paint and sharpen him up again, just like so. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is create some, um, background or like a uh, horizon foliage coming across because this is going to be like a lake and then we'll have a nice southern tree in front of it and whatnot okay all right so we're going to get our blue we'll go white from the middle i'll give a bit of water in this now i'll trust this spray bottle 
and the middle's going to be about here somewhere. So, that's one side, and this is sort of the other side. That's enough there. Now I'm going to pull that down because this is my water line here. Now with that paint, I'm gradually going to go darker. So I'm pulling the darker colours in because as this comes closest towards you. So I'm going to start from about here and then come back into that there just like that. Bring it down into the water as well where you got to... That's one side. Into there, nice and soft. Bring it down into the water. Come up here. Okay, now I'll pull that down. So there's my line, still keeping my horizon line reasonably straight. Okay, now we're going a bit darker. So we'll get a bit of this purple into it. It's still blue, but with bits of purple in it. On the camera or photos, it might not show up, but in real life, you see all these. Yeah, that's darker, that's what I want. And we're coming into the water still. Like so. This one can just finish off of the painting there. I'll pull that down. Okay, so this is just going to be good old purple. Why I'm, why I'm not using floral colours is because to me this is a moon and moon's all white, blue, purpley. That's the way I sort of picture it. And these are just like shrubs against the river because it's going to be a lake. Okay, I'll quickly pull that down. Okay, we've got that pulled down. Now, because we've got a moon, I want to highlight, I'm not going to worry about that side, we'll act as the moon being the sun, okay? We'll, we'll need a sun in our painting, but this one's got a moon, eh? So we're going to have the light source coming from this side. So I've still got my brush. I'll get a bit of white over here, under the board there, just like that. And I just want to come over here. Oh, it's a bit wet still, a bit more. I just want to lightly, I'll start from here, just from about here. Like have the moonlight coming onto, onto this. And hopefully that looks like it's got Leaving the darks in there, you kill the darks, you kill the... And maybe put a bit in there as well. And we're ready to pull that down again because we put more there. Ooh, bit of a doobie going on there, but it doesn't matter. So we've got some highlights there. And because it's a painting, we might as well put some... It just gives it more depth. Alright, I'll just clean my brushes. I've got a I've got a little fan brush and because I'm scared to use a knife and get out layers on the water, I use this little brush. I'll get the white on it, but because we want it to flow, we want it a bit wet. And I'm using this brush because it's nice and sharp. And this is gonna virtually put our horizon lines on here, you know. 
just to break the bank up. And there's our moon reflection, so we want that a bit more intensified on the top of the water. See, they're looking a bit, i better straighten them up a bit. I'm getting a bit happy with that. What do you reckon, eh? What do you reckon, cameraman? This is, I got my new cameraman here with me today. He's doing a good job. And, and he's doing the one thing all artists forget to do. He's breathing. You can probably hear him breathing, but that's okay. That means he's still alive. Now I'm gonna grab a knife. And I wanna sharpen these. Come down here on the canvas. There's so many ways. Let's try there. I've got that onto the, I'm just gonna get it on onto my knife. Okay. And we'll, we've got to get these edges done. Yeah, that's, that's it. <clears throat> that's it. Now this is what puts your surface on the water. We'll sink those reflections in by putting these horizontal lines. Well, see how that one looked all stupid and horrible. Don't worry about that when that happens. I'll show you a little thing that I do. But see, this is just virtually sunken everything into the water. All right, where's my fan brush? Grab this one, it's just wet and damp. That one there that I buggered up. We'll get going straight, get going, and then we'll, we'll hit it into the water. And any other ones that you're not happy with, like this here, I'm gonna just... Where else this one here looks a bit stupid? So we're getting there, now we're just gonna do the foreground and we're virtually done. All right, now we're gonna just do the foreground to create this, give it a lake look. So we're gonna use the darker color again, which is this purple we've got there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make that wetter. So all I do for this, probably about here. Actually, I need more of it. It's, there we go. Don't be shy. It's sort of coming up like so. Alright, we've got the blacked out for the foreground. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put a path here. Some kind of path. Grass. So, okay, come down here. I'll just use this um, yellow oxide. And uh, I'll get this on my fan brush. Okay. All right. So we'll put the path about here somewhere. So what I want to do, I don't want to kill all the blacks. We'll just sort of swoop him. There's our path there. And he's going to come a bit bigger as it comes closer towards the front of the painting. So there's our path, right? You can see we've got blacks left in it still. All right, come down here. We've got some yellow. So I'm just putting a bit of water in with this yellow here because I want to maybe get some. We'll just test it down there. Yeah, just to give this path some tone. Okay, come on the, down here now. I'm going to just mix up some grass, but I'm not sure what colour, so I'm just going to put a bit of this on the bottom of the... to see what it's going to... Yeah, this green will do. So I want to get some of this green, and I want to leave a bit of black between the path and the grass that I put on there, right? So this is just... And you can probably bleed some into the path like so. 
This is just an undercolor for the foreground. I've got to, I've got to leave some grass in there. Okay, so we'll get this on there. I'll use some, I'll quickly wipe my brush. I'll use some yellow green. Okay, now we'll, we'll highlight that with some yellow green. Now this yellow green is doing what I want it to do, I suppose. Now, see, I want to get a bits of, some of it just coming onto the path there. If anything, I'm sort of giving it these arched motions to give it like a bit of a, a, a grassy dune or a hill. Now see these grass, just come right in closer here to where I've got the grass onto the path. What I'm going to do is just come down here on the board there. I've still got the, the yellow green in my brush, so I'm just going to get some of this black on there, just something to darken it. And when I'm happy with it, okay, now come back to the canvas. Now, see here, we've got to shadow some of this. Okay, now I'm just going to put a shrub here and a shrub here. And the colors I'm going to use for that is just simple yellow green, leaving a shadow between the shrub and these bits of grassy knolls there. So I'll get it. Up like that, that's one side, and that's the other one. Now I'll wipe the brush and we'll just put a highlight on that. We'll use a bit of white, just simple white, it's got some yellow in it. Okay, come down here. See my brush, it's all worn out, but the way it's fairing out, come down here, right. See here, see how it's all bent out? That's my favorite brush, brush for doing the shrubs. Okay, come up here and I'm just gonna highlight this shrub a lot different to what the grassy knolls are. That's one, and that's another. And just the very front where the moon's hitting, I've gotta do it very light. If I hit it too hard, It'll start looking cartoony. And if you do a lot of grass on your painting and you think, bloody hell, you put too much on there, grab the lawnmower and give it a mow. But that'll do for our grassy knoll. Okay, if you like that painting I just did, subscribe and like it. And send us some comments as well. Goodbye, good luck, good on you.